My name is Doug Schmidt, and I'd like to tell you about a new sequence of massive open online courses, or MOOCs, on mobile cloud computing with Android that I'll be teaching in 2014, together with colleagues from Vanderbilt University and the University of Maryland College Park. During the past decade, I've taught software design and programming courses to roughly 600 undergrad and grad students in the computer science program at Vanderbilt University's School of Engineering. Our low faculty to student ratio is one of the reasons I like my work. It's gratifying to watch students progress and envision the futures that lie ahead of them. However, not every bright student has a chance to come to Vanderbilt. Moreover, there's an acute need worldwide for the kind of expertise that we provide. So when I had a chance to teach one of Vanderbilt's first MOOCs through the Coursera platform in the spring of 2013, I was intrigued. MOOCs pose many social, economic, and technical challenges for the future of higher education. And this was my chance to experience some of them firsthand. From early March to mid-May, I taught a 10-week MOOC, Pattern-Oriented Software Architecture for Concurrent and Network Software, to more than 30,000 students from all around the United States and scores of other countries. In a traditional classroom setting at Vanderbilt, it would have taken me over 500 years to reach that many students. Producing and delivering a MOOC was also a learning experience for me. I quickly realized that while teaching a MOOC by myself was exhilarating, the knowledge and skills needed to master concurrent and network software development are far more complex than any one instructor could ever hope to cover in a single course. In 2014, therefore, I've teamed up with Professor Adam Porter from the University of Maryland and Professor Jules White from Vanderbilt to offer the first trans-institution sequence of MOOCs on the Coursera platform. These MOOCs build upon and codify decades of research and development we've conducted together and separately at our respective institutions. The first MOOC in the sequence, the University of Maryland's course Programming Mobile Applications for Android Handheld Systems, taught by Adam Porter, will focus on the design and implementation of user-facing applications. This course will cover the fundamental programming principles, software architecture, and user experience considerations underlying handheld software applications and the Android development environment. The first Vanderbilt MOOC in the sequence, Programming Mobile Services for Android Handheld Systems, taught by me, will focus on middleware systems programming topics, such as synchronous and asynchronous concurrency models, background service processing, storage and retrieval of structured data, and local inter-process communication and networking. The next Vanderbilt MOOC in the sequence, Programming Cloud Services for Android Handheld Systems, taught by Jules White, will round out our coverage of mobile cloud computing by focusing on how to connect mobile devices to cloud computing and data storage resources, turning a mobile device into an extension of powerful cloud-based services. The final course in the sequence will be a joint capstone project offered to students who successfully master the material covered in our earlier MOOCs. In this project course, students will apply all that they learned before to develop a complete mobile cloud computing application from the ground up. To create innovative and useful mobile cloud computing applications, developers can benefit from applying the knowledge, skills, and practices covered in our sequence of MOOCs, including software design and architecture, human-computer interaction, accessibility, and usability, Java programming language features and idioms, communication, concurrency, and synchronization patterns and frameworks, database design and programming techniques, cybersecurity, automated testing, and more. We firmly believe that attaining mastery of all these topics will be greatly enhanced by intentionally designed, community-based instructional collaborations, such as our courses on mobile cloud computing with Android. I therefore hope you'll join my colleagues and me in our trans-institutional sequenced MOOCs so together we can help shape the futures of both higher education and mobile software development.